Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 11, Comparing Ratios Using Ratio Tables. So here's example one. Create four equivalent ratios, two by scaling up and two by scaling down, using the ratio 30 to 80. So if I scale 30 to 80 down, if I divide both of those by 10, I'm going to get 3 to 8. Okay, if I divide both of those by 5, 30 divided by 5 is 6. 80 divided by 5 is 16. So if I keep doing that, I can get multiple, multiple ways of doing this. So if I keep dividing, I'm going to get values less. But then if I multiply, I'm going to get values larger. So here are two that are smaller. I scaled down. And now I'm going to scale up. So if I take 30 times 2, then I'm going to get 60. And if I take 80 times 2, I'm going to get 160. And one more time, let's just keep it simple, times 3, 30 times 3 is 90, and 80 times 3 is 240. So there's two examples of scaling 30 to 80 up. Okay, there's all kinds of other ones I could do, but those are two of each. Now it says write a ratio to describe the relationship shown in the table. So what I'm going to do is remember that this is X, this is Y, and our constant of proportionality is going to be Y divided by X. So what we want to do is take 16 which is our y divided by x, y is 16, x is 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So the ratio we use to create this table, another way we could do this is divide 2 by 2 and get 1. So 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So I got it down to a ratio that is one to something. So there our ratio is, I should say the ratio is one to eight. So if I multiply five times eight, I get 40, six times eight, 48, 10 times eight, 80. So the ratio used to create this table is one to eight, which means there are eight pizzas sold every hour. Exercise one. The following table shows how many words each person can text in a given amount of time. Compare the rates of each compare the rates of texting for each person using the ratio table. So again, if this is a horizontal table, our top number is x, our bottom is y. So I'm just going to label all of these x and y, x comma y. And if we keep in mind that k equals y divided by x. I can take an, a y, 150, and divide it by 3, and my answer is 50. So my k equals 50. And then I check. 50 times 5 is 250. 50 times 7 is 350. And 50 times 9 is 450. So it says the following table. It says compare the rates of texting for each person using a ratio, the ratio table. So I have now determined that the first person For every minute texting, they can text 50 words, 1 to 50. I reduce this down. So now I'm going to look at this one. K equals, let's change colors. K equals Y divided by X. Y is 90, X is 2. Half of 90 is 45. So 45 times 4 is 180, 45 times 6 is 270, 45 times 8 is 360. 
So my ratio for this one is, let me move these up here. My ratio for this is one to 45. For every minute I, the Jenna texts, she can text 45 words. 45 words per minute, 50 words per minute, Michaela. And now Maria is going to be Y equals, try that again, K equals Y divided by X, and my Y is 120. My X is 3, and my K is now 40. 40 times 6 is 240, 40 times 9 is 360, 40 times 12 is 480. That is a ratio of 1 to 40. So Mar Maria can text 40 words per minute. Jenna can, re can text 45 words per minute. And Michaela can text 50 words per minute. Complete the table that shows that max is texting rate of 55 words per minute. So if it's one minute, 55 words. Add one, add 55. One times two, 55 times two. Either way we look at it, we get the same value. And then one, two, three, add one, add 55. 110 plus 55 is 165, which is the same as 55 times three. And then finally four. Add 55 to 165, 5 and 5 is 10, 6 and 5 is 11, plus that carried one is 12, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So 220. Exercise 2, making juice. Here we have three tables. The table below, tables below show the comparison of the amount of water to the amount of juice concentrate in grape juice made by three different people, Laredo, Franca, and Milton. Whose juice has the greatest water to juice concentrate ratio and whose juice would taste strongest, meaning less watered down, okay? Be sure to justify your answers. Okay. So what we're going to be doing here is looking for comparisons. So when I look at Laredo, I have 12, 15, 21, 45, 10, 15, 25, 40. I have the same amount of water in this mix here as I do water in this mix here. And then when I come over here, there is no 15, so I can't do anything there. I have 12, there's no 12. I have 21, there's no 21. I have 45, there is no 45. I have 10, there are no 10s. Already checked 15. 25, no, 24. But here is 40 parts water. And this one has 40 parts water. Okay, so if we look at that, we can see right now that if I have five parts of juice for 15, these 15 parts, that is more juice than three to this. So Laredo has more than Francesco. So I would say Francesco, Francesca has less than Laredo. Okay, just from this, Laredo's, if they both have the same amount of water and Laredo has more juice, then Laredo has more juice in his mix. So it's greater than Francesca's. Then when I look, when I compare Francesca and Milton, they both have the same amount of water, 40 and 40. But then I look and Milton has 10 parts juice to Fran Franca's eight parts. So Milton has more juice. So it looks like Franca has the least amount of juice of all of them. Since Milton, so here I could say Milton's juice is, has a greater amount of juice in it than Franca. So there's a so now we know that Laredo has more than Franca and Milton has more than Franca. Okay. But we don't know what order they go in yet. I don't know if Milton has more than Laredo, but we know Franca 
has the least amount of juice. So I'm going to put Franca here. Now I don't know if Milton is here or here, or Laredo is here or here. So in order to do that, what we can do is look at our ratio. So if I take 5 divided by 15, if this was my x and this is my y, 5 over 15 reduces to 1 third. So there's 1 third the juice as there is water here. And if I come over to Milton's, I have 2 parts juice to 8 parts water, which reduces to 1 fourth. So there's a quarter of the juice in this, 10 is a quarter of 4, 40, and this is a third. Well, a quarter is less than one third. If you think of percent, 25% is less than 33%. So now I know Milton has less than Laredo. So I'm going to put Milton here and Laredo here. Okay, explain, it says explain how you use the values of the table to determine the order. Okay, so here's what we could say about that. Laredo makes a juice by combining three cups of water for every one cup of concentrate, three to one. Franca makes her juice by combining five cups of water for every cup of juice concentrate. Okay, so where did that come from? Well, if I take two over 10, two over 10 reduces to one over five. So five cups of water for every one cup of juice. And Milton makes his juice by combining four cups of water for every one cup of concentrate, which is right here. So one third, one quarter, and one fifth is another way we could do that. It says what ratio is used to create each table. So Laredo's is three to one, and Franca's is five to one, five parts water to one part juice, and Milton is four to one. Okay. Explain how the ratio could help you compare the juices. Okay. Um, there's many ways you could say that. I kind of explained it already. So you could say the ratio could help you determine the amounts of juices by figuring out what each rate of change was or each rate or each constant of proportionality, which is our one-third, our one-fifth, our one-fourth. Okay, so it's four to one, three, five to one, three to one, and then determine who gets more juice per, or less water per one part juice, actually, would be what it was. Okay, so anyway, B. The next day, each of three people made juice again, but this time they were making apple juice. Whose juice is the greatest, whose juice has the greatest water to juice concentrate ratio? and whose juice would taste the strongest. So we're asking the same questions again. So I'm gonna do this in a different way here. We can look for comparisons, 12, 15, 18, 20, 30, 35, 42, 50, nothing. 12, 16, 18, no 18, 30, no 30, 42, no 40. The only thing that might, eh, is there any comparisons? 15, oh, right here, six, two, three, five, seven, six, eight. So now we have a six here and a six here, all right? So we can compare these two. Okay. Those two. So we have the same juice concentrate here, but Milton's has more water in it, so his is weaker. So I already know Milton's is weaker than Francesca. So if I have Laredo here, French and Francesca here, and Milton here, and I'm putting them in order. And first of all, let me just move. Okay, sorry about that. Let me move the L, not the entire page, here. Move the F here, and move the M here. They're just in order as the tables right now. But well, we just realized that Milton's is weaker than Franca's. So we're going to rearrange at least these here. 
but we don't know where Laredo falls yet. And then that's all we could get from that. So now I'm going to resort to finding out what y over x is. Here's my x's, here's my y's. And this would be 12 over, or 2 over 2 divided by 12, which is 1 6. So that's a ratio of, that's Laredo's ratio. So that's 6 to 1. 15 over 6, I'll do this over here. 6, I shouldn't say over, 6 divided by 15, y divided by x would reduce to 3 goes into 6 twice, 3 goes into 15 five times, so that is a ratio of 5 to 2, that is Francesca, okay, and then finally I'm going to do the ratio of Milton's, which is 6 divided by 16, they're both even, so I'm going to reduce that by divided by 2, and that's 3 to 8, or 8 to 3. So these are the ratios reduced all the way down for the three of them. Okay, now I have to determine which is more. So three, we have 3 eighths, 1 sixth, and two-fifths, okay? So there's a couple of ways I can do this. I can get the same denominator, or the same numerator would be easier. So one will go into three, two will not go into three, but one, two, and three will all go into six, okay? So I'm going to just spread these out here, and let me move them right here. And I'm going to change the top number to 6 on all of these. I want to get something that I can relate to. So if I have the same amount of Y's, which is juice, I can determine which one's weaker by how much water is in them. So to multiply 1, to get 6 on the numerator, I had to multiply this by 6 over 6. So I'm multiplying 1 times 6 to get 6. 6 times 6 is... 36. So 636 is 1 6. To get 6 here, I had to multiply the top and bottom by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 8 times 2 is 16. So now I know that Laredo has a lot more water in his than Franca. And then finally, 2 fifths, 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, so that is Milton. Milton has the least amount of water if we had six in all of them. So this was six and this was six, but if I made this six, I'd be multiplying this by three to get 36. All right, so put the juice in order from the largest, strongest apple taste to the weakest. So the strongest apple taste would be the one that had the least amount of water. So that is the 6 fifteenths, which is Milton. So now I'm going to move this to here. So now I know Milton is there. And then I'm just going to move this here for now. And then I look here, and 16 is the next one. 6 sixteenths was this one. 6 sixteenths is Milton. And then 6 36 was the weakest. So the weakest was Laredo. So Laredo has to come over here, and Franca's is here. Okay, these are still out of order. The strongest is 6 fifteenths. That's Franca. Franca's is the strongest. Milton's is the next 6 sixteenths. And then 6 36 would be the weakest. That's Laredo. So it's Franca, Milton, Laredo. The ratios are 6 to 1, 5 to 2, 8 to 3. Explain how the ratio could help you compare the juices. Okay, and again, the ratio can be used and use a multiple of the ratio to get equivalent values in either the water or the juice to compare the other. I will bring in an explanation.
Actually, I think I'm just going to leave it as a verbal explanation and move on. How was the problem different from the grape juice question in part A? So if we look back, there weren't many differences except we could only compare two of them here. And in the first one, two from the first two people were equivalent. And then the one Franca had compared, we could compare Milton and Franca's as well. So Franca was, had two values in common with the others, one with Laredo and one with Milton. Okay, C. Max and Sheila are making orange juice. Max has mixed 15 cups of water with four cups of juice. So I'm going to write these down. So we have Max, okay, and he is mixing 15 cups of water, water, to juice 15 cups of water 4 cups of juice Sheila is doing the same thing mixing water with juice concentrate and she's going to use 8 cups of water and 3 cups of juice concentrate Compare the ratios of juice concentrate to water using a ratio table, and which beverage has the higher juice concentrate to water. So if I just keep adding 15, I'm going to get 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. Keep adding 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I'm going to do the same over here. 8 and 8 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 36. 8 times 5 is 40. And 8 times 6 is 48. And so on. I'm going to keep multiplying 3. 3, three times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. And 3 times 6 is 18. Once I've done that, I'm looking for numbers that are the same. 15, no. 30, no. 45, no. 60, no. And I need, don't need to go any further because I went up to 48. 4, 3, 8, 6, 12. Here's a 12. So right here, we have the same amount of juice, but Sheila has less water in that quantity of juice. So Max has more water, so his will be more, more diluted and have less flavor. So the state which beverage has a higher juice concentrate to water ratio, and it is Sheila's. Sheila has a higher juice concentrate. Okay? D. Victor is making recipes for smoothies. His first recipe calls for two cups of strawberries, seven cups of others. So this is Victor, and his first recipe is strawberries and other fruit. I'll just say S and F. He's using two cups of strawberries, seven cups of fruit. Then he's going to do it again. His second recipe says, so second, he's going to do strawberries and fruit again. And it says three cups of strawberries are combined with nine cups of fruit. Which smoothie recipe has more strawberries compared to other ingredients? So then I'm going to do what I did last example and multiply or repeated addition, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, and 7 times 6 is 42. And I'm going to 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 times 6 is 18. 9 times 2, 18, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 6 is 54. I'm going to look for com for values that are the same. Here's a 6. Here's a 6. Doesn't really need to go that far on this one. 
we have the same amount of strawberries, this one has more fruit added to it than this one. Which smoothie recipe has more strawberries compared to other ingredients? And the answer is his first recipe because there are more, no, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. It is the second one. More strawberries compared to the other ingredients. If I have six strawberries, I have 18 other fruits. If I have six strawberries, I have 21 other fruits, which is more fruit than this one. So the ratio of strawberries to other ingredients is the more strawberries are in this second recipe. We could also do total ingredients here to justify. So total ingredients 18 plus 6 is 24 ingredients. And if I did a total of ingredients over here, total ingredients, that's 27. Okay, so there's more strawberries per ingredient. So 6 out of 24 parts instead of 6 out of 27. That is the end of lesson 11. Go do your problem set.